It is hard to believe. We've got an actor here whose career has spanned five decades. Tony Goldwyn bursting onto the scene as the friend turned villain in the classic film Ghost. Most recently, he was in this year's Best Picture winner Oppenheimer, but it was his role as President Fitzgerald Grant opposite Kerry Washington in Scandal that people are still talking about. Oh, yes. Well, now... Tony is serving the people once again, this time as District Attorney Nicholas Baxter in NBC's legendary series, Law and & Order, and Tony is immediately, there you go, we're <laughs> contractually obligated to play that every time we say Law & Order. He's making his presence felt immediately. You're going to need a warrant for that. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, excuse me. Who the hell are you? I'm Nicholas Baxter. I was just sworn in as District Attorney. 30 minutes ago, to be exact. Uh, Detective Jalen Shaw. It's a pleasure to meet you, Detective. Vincent Riley. Pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir, but with all due respect, we got this. This is our crime scene. I understand. I was just walking up town. I saw the swirling lights, and I got excited. But I popped my head inside. I've been to a crime scene in over 30 years. Couldn't help myself. Uh, that, was, that was his very first scene in the show, too. Tony, welcome back. Good Thank you. Good to see you all. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. I, it's, I was just telling you, I watched that first episode. Not, not to give away too much for folks who haven't seen it, but the way they introduce you to the audience is just pitch perfect. But you, you, you went from president to district attorney. It's like you've been demoted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, you know, a guy needs a job. So. <laughs> How different has it been for you playing this role? Well... The difference is I have a, a much uh, calmer personal life, I think, than yes. uh, my character on Scandal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or I hope so. You know, we'll see what Dick Wolf has in mind. But um, uh, there are similarities. You know, I'm still running, a, 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 still serving the people, um, but uh, in a more sober way, I think. Yes. But it is a fun, it was a really fun introduction of, of Nick Baxter mm -hmm. and quite different from my iconic predecessor, yeah. Sam, the great Sam Waterston. And, and yeah. speaking of Sam Waterston, he was actually here recently. I heard, And yeah. here's what he had to say about you joining the show. Oh, okay. He's going to be great. Yeah. I think, uh, I, I, you know, my reputation is in terrible danger because I, I think he's just going to be wonderful and I'll be watching. Ooh, he's watching. Oh, no uh, pressure there. I mean, do you feel added are... pressure kind of stepping into these sh shoes? No, not really. I mean, Sam is one of the kindest people in show business. And I had the privilege of directing the show, you know, well, gosh, almost 20 years ago oh, wow. um, with, with Sam, and, and uh, he was so so kind. So, no, not pressure, just um, it, f it feels, uh, I feel privileged, really. Yeah. You know, those are, those, are, uh, those are great shoes to step into, so. You, you know, it's interesting, the, the, the number, I, we, we were talking before about how, uh, you know, Dick Wolf has, ought to get an award for employing so many actors who have gone on to, to do great mm. things, including your Scandal co-star, co Carrie Washington. Right. Uh, any chance she might uh, show oh. up again? I don't know. What do you say, Carrie? You want to <laughs> play with us? <laughs> I think it's going to happen now. Yeah, yeah, it just on. might. <laughs> you know, what is it like you now ba yeah. being back in New York City on the streets, you know, shooting in, in, a, in a city that's as big a character as anybody in Law & Order? Yeah, it's so fun. I mean, I live here, so it's great to be, be at home. But, you know, New York has always been a character on the show, as you say. And, and also... You know, Dick Wolf has created a New York institution. Everywhere you go now for, for you know, a couple of generations, Law & Order's been filming on the streets. And, you know, both a incredible actors that have, that have passed through the show and the crews that work on the show are now multi-generational, you mm -hmm. know? And, and um, it, it's really extraordinary what he's done. And now there are how many Law & Order, so, you know, yeah. shows? Right. Uh, SVU, uh, yeah. Organized Crime. Yeah, he really, uh, Dick has, has just done an incredible thing for our, our whole industry, but certainly mm -hmm. for the city of New York. Yeah. Speaking of Kerry Washington, it's hard to believe it's been six years now since the uh, scandal finale. Are you surprised at all that people still seem to be so obsessed with those characters and, and just that show in general? Yeah, it's, it's constantly amazing to me. I mean, every, especially recently, I don't know if it's been newly streaming on Netflix or somewhere, but people stop me on the street and go, oh, my God, I've just been watching Scandal because I was traveling a lot the past couple uh, of weeks. Yeah, and in every yeah. airport, people come running up to me going, I just finished all <laughs> seven seasons, you know, and uh, people just love it. Uh, it was, it, it's really, it's really fun and, and gratifying yeah. to be a part of something like that. You're also a very busy man because you've got a movie coming out. Tell us about Ezra. Yeah, so I directed a film this year that's coming out on May 31st. The trailer just came out last year, and it's uh, Bobby Cannavale and Robert De Niro and Rose wow. Byrne and Ooh. Vera Farmiga and Whoopi Goldberg, my wow. pal from Ghost, um, and Rain Wilson and a brilliant young autistic actor named 
uh, uh, William Fitzgerald, who mm -hmm. it's about the relationship between a uh, father. Bobby plays a comedian who, um, they, and he and Rose have an autistic son, and they're going through some struggles, and he's living with his dad, Robert De Niro, and um, it, they're, they're, it's a it's a love story really between. Mm -hmm. Between a father and son, and about family, and it's a, uh, I think, a beautiful film. So I'm really excited when to share it with out? people. May 31st. Cool. What is it about directing that, that that fills a different a different need or a different feeling for you? Yeah, you know, it, it's um, it's all storytelling. You just get to look at it through different lenses. The mm -hmm. great joy for me about directing, in addition to just sort of being able to guide the entire story as opposed to just playing my part, is getting to work with every single person. Mm -hmm on a crew and every actor I feel like yeah. I'm playing helping them play their role every crew member every all the brilliant people that go into making a movie when you're directing you get to work with all of them so and you directed De Niro my god and I talked yeah, to that's De Niro crazy. go figure <laughs> Tony yeah. thank you this is fantastic thanks for being and here again, perfect Wonderful edition to perfect edition of one of our favorite shows Law and Order by the way Thursdays 8 p.m. there you go boom <laughs> Thursdays 8 o'clock NBC and of course streaming the very next day on Peacock Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.